Hey everyone, Benjamin here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a retro kind of design inside of Canva. So open Canva and let's get started. Before we jump into Canva, I just want to say that this design is actually very easy to create. Look, when I created it, I was like, like seriously, I was able to create this within some few minutes and it was just mind blowing and I want to be able to teach you how to create the same thing. One thing about this design is you actually have to be a little bit realistic in some of the things we are actually going to do. So make sure you don't leave this video, stick to the end and I'll teach you everything. Let's dive into Canva. Okay, so this is the design we are going to be creating and the first thing I'm going to do is, is to click on add a page and this dimension is 1080 by 1350 and um, you know, we'll always start from the background. So the background color I have over here is F3D029. Okay, so that's what we have over here. After you do that, come to element in element, just search for sunburst. Okay, because we want to have this retro design sort of then come to graphics and graphic. There are so many options you can choose from. Okay, but I would go for this one and I would increase the size so you can see what we have at the moment. I'll lift it up a little bit. To something like here and i'll come to colors to change the color okay so the color is just a darker version of this particular color so maybe let me just give it to you because some of you will be like eh he gets in the color and they didn't give it to you once they, they they keep on coming they keep on coming i think that uh, i have to I have to turn one of the phone off so let me just give you the colors okay <laughs> okay so um we come into colors and i'll just Okay, so it's DFBC16. That's the color code for this particular element. Okay, so after you do that, the next thing you just have to do is to go to elements.theafricangig.com and download the car, you know, um, element I used. Okay, and make sure you have it downloaded and uploaded. Mine is somewhere here. Okay, so I have everything. And also search for speed. Okay, you see a speed um, element inside of Canva. Okay, so let's do this before we add our car press c on your keyboard for circle okay and i'll increase the size of my circle position somewhere here then i can just change the color to maybe this kind of red okay and um, the red color i'm using here is c60 f11 okay so that's the color code for this maybe let me just adjust this a little bit okay after we do that press r on your keyboard for rectangle okay and just resize it this way drop it to the bottom okay so drop it to the bottom over here okay let it cover the whole bottom here sort of okay then we would maintain the color but now press r again for another one okay and um arrange then drop it down here okay and we are going to resize it to something like this okay so you can see what i am doing here create a duplicate of it and position it like this so you can see what we have change the color of this to a darker version okay so we are just going to change all colors then we will use the transparency of it so come to transparency and reduce it to somewhere like 45 okay the 45 46 should be cool then select everything over here okay except this okay so just these um squares over here or these rectangles then we are just going to rotate it slightly to something like this you understand then come into your upload and i believe by now you have your car downloaded and uploaded already okay so i'll just drop it here okay and also rotate it slightly like something like this you get it so you can see we are actually creating what we saw earlier now this is the interesting part of it everything we're about to do next is something you will actually see in the real life because you know a car would have shadows it'll usually have some lights and um, how you'd arrange everything would make your design look a bit realistic okay so that's what we are about to do so what we have to do now is i would search in my uploads for a shadow and this shadow can be found on the same element the african geeks.com so just search for shadow you should find it so this is the shadow this is how it's going to look like and you can see i've also added it so i will place it you know let me zoom in first i'll place it you know here and rotate it something like this because of how the car is okay then i will just send it to the back so that it will be behind the tire you understand then i will duplicate it reduce the size a little bit because this one is a little bit far okay and i'll send it behind you understand then i duplicate it again bring it here this is you know more farther <laughs> so i will just position it here and i'll send it back so you can see how the whole thing is looking then you can also add your light element okay so we are just trying to give this car some light okay so i would you know reduce the size and position it here let me use my arrow key okay then i'll duplicate it since this one's a little bit far i will reduce the size of this one also okay so that things can look a little bit realistic so you can see what we have created so far 
okay now the next thing we just have to do is to add some text and some textures and some you know any other thing at all you want to add you can always feel free to add them all right so i will just come here and i'll press t i'm actually not going anywhere just press t on your keyboard and you just say anything at all you want to say so i'll just say keep okay then i'll duplicate it and i'll just say driving okay so d r i v i n and the apostrophe okay so increase the size to something like this okay so the size is 96 make sure you know they are all the same so i'll just come here and say 96 okay then we'll change it to something bolder because we want it to look old og old style you, you get the whole vibe so i would use champion gothic this is a custom font i actually use in canva and speaking of custom fonts that's one of the advantages of canva pro and i want to introduce canva pro to you because just in case you're looking at doing more inside of canva when it comes to removing background images publishing canva designs directly to social media adding multiple brand kits resizing your canva designs easily with a click having more animation options uploading custom fonts and look there are just so many things you can actually do in canva pro and because i want you to be able to use this for free i have a special link in the description box below that can help you start using canva Canva Pro for free. And the other thing is, I have 20 easy to edit templates I have created specially for you, and I want you to be able to use them because it would actually save you so much time when it comes to designing inside of Canva. So check it out also. The link can be found in the description box below. So let's continue with our tutorial. Okay, so I'll just come here and also change this text also to champion gothic heavy okay then i'll just position them this way select the two of them and also rotate it slightly okay then i'll increase the size and position it here okay so increase the size here and i'll also increase the size here okay and i'll change both colors to something lighter the same red but a bit lighter like that okay nice one so i will reduce this a little bit it shouldn't be just too close like that so now that we've done all of that i want to increase this up you know just lift it up a little bit okay so now we just have to add our textures so the first thing you would have to do is to come into your element and search for cement okay texture after you do that you would see there are so many options over here so i'll just choose any of them maybe this one like this um looks very good increase the size okay and after you increase the size make sure it's in front of every element come to your transparency and reduce the transparency okay so reduce it to something like 20 which is cool and make sure the texture isn't covering the entire page otherwise it will just replace your background okay so what you'd want to do is you'd want to lift it up slightly a little bit you know so that it's not covering your entire design okay nice one then come back to element and search for paper texture okay then you would also find some interesting paper textures in here so the same thing i'll just add them to my design and i will just increase the size so you can see how this one is also looking something very sweet simple easy to create okay so you can see what we also have over here then what i can also do is you can see from here i added some additional text okay so maybe let me just copy the text okay so copy and just paste it over here all right okay so now that we have this the last thing i want us to do is to add the speed element we have okay so if you haven't downloaded it yet still go to the element.theafricangig.com and search for speed okay so once you do that download it and upload it on canva then just do what i'm about to show you okay so this is what i just have to do i'll come to my uploads in my uploads i'll just scroll up and i shouldn't even be telling you to scroll up because it's really necessary to say scroll up <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i'll just click on it to add it and interestingly even though they are separate elements but you can see the color sort of matches okay so i'll rotate it this way and make sure the rotation is also natural you understand now position it here and um, no, maybe let me just position it here instead okay and um rotate it you know okay this looks cool i would reduce the transparency a little bit so that it's not too obvious maybe i'll just make it align with this line over here so that everything can look a bit natural okay so you can see what we are doing because these are some of the things you just need to have in mind to make your design look good and i can just send this to the back okay then i would flip it horizontally no actually vertically you yeah, understand and i'll just drop it down a little bit this can be removed if you don't actually find it necessary okay so it's not like something you have to do at all cost okay so you can see what we have been able to create and i hope you enjoyed 
this tutorial because every single thing here you know it's something very easy you can create inside of canva and and i believe you found it helpful just in case you are looking for more canva tutorials there are two things i want you to do the first thing is to hit on the like button to support this video and the second thing is to smash the subscribe button if you are new to this channel the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity i should see you in my next video